Hi, I'm Robert. I'm from Warmup. I've been with the company about a dozen years or so. Every time I get a phone call about the DS controller, it's always the same question. What do I do with all these colored wires? So I'm here to make a video for you on how to wire the DS controller. For those of you that read the manual, looked at the picture and weren't sure, they say a picture's worth a thousand words, a video's gotta be worth a million. For those of you that have not read the manual, I do recommend you read the manual. But we're gonna do a video on how to wire the DS controller. So let's go wire our snowmelt controller. All right, we're going to wire our warm-up all-in-one DS controller. This works with the DS2 or the DS8, which are designed for single zone uh, control up to 30 amps of snow melt. What we're going to do is we're going to take our lead wire that is coming from our circuit breaker. The gauge wire that you'll need will depend on the amperage that you're using as well as the voltage and local code. So please check with your local code what gauge wire is required for the amperage and voltage. The controller itself does not have ground fault protection built in. So likely local code also will require some sort of ground fault built into your circuit breaker. So please check on that as well. We're going to take our first lead wire from the circuit breaker and that is going to attach to our brown wire from the controller. That is our power source for the controller itself. And we're going to take one of the yellows that come out of the controller and we're going and attach it to those two. The yellow wire from the controller goes to a dry contact, so we're going to feed power into that dry contact. So we're going to have our brown wire from the controller, a yellow wire, and one of our lead wires from the circuit breaker. We're going to put those three together. Our second lead wire from the circuit breaker is going to go directly to the snow melt mat, the warm up mat, directly. So we're going to take one of those lead wires from the snow melt mat and we're going to put that to the second wire from the circuit breaker and we're going to attach that to the blue wire as well. The blue wire finalizes our power source for the controller, the lead wire from the mat as well as a lead wire from the circuit breaker. So we're going to wire nut those three together and then to complete the circuit from the dry contact that's going to go to the second lead wire from our snow melt mat. So we take our warm up mat and the yellow dry contact wire coming out of the controller. We will wire nut those two together and that's going to complete our circuit. And then finally, we're going to take our ground wire from the snow melt mat, our ground wire from the controller and our ground wire from the house. And we're going to wire all those together. So we have our three ground wires put together. Lead wire from the uh, circuit breaker goes to the brown and one of the yellow dry contacts. Our lead wire from the circuit, second lead wire from the circuit breaker goes to a lead wire from the heating mat and our blue wire. Our second wire coming out of the controller for the dry contact goes to our second lead wire for the mat and then all our ground wires together. And that is how we wire our DS controller.